So for this project, we're going to need brown paper. Um, it's like craft paper. You could get it out of a, a paper grocery bag and just cut it out. Um, if you can't find brown paper, white paper will be fine. You could also use brown construction paper or um, like gray construction paper if you have it. You could also, if you want, you could pour coffee or tea over uh, white paper. Smooth, get it all, all the white spots gone and then let it dry someplace completely and then you'll have brown paper. But Just that. Um, crayons and colored pencils and I got neutral colors because the cave artists from long ago only had um, paint that they made themselves from the ground right there in France and Spain. So they would have they could have black from charcoal, white if they found some chalk, um, brown and gray from the rocks and the dirt. The only exception with, with the bright colors would be red. Um, that's a bright color you would see um, and that's because sometimes you can find dirt or clay with a lot of iron in it and that's it's red when it's got a lot of iron in it so um, but you know those colors and I'm using crayons and colored pencils and then also a picture or two to look at. You could print them out or look at them off the screen <clears throat> And uh, mostly we want to think about the shapes of the animals. If you notice, they have really big bodies and really small skinny legs. But even the legs are shapes, right? They're not just a stick. And then the shape of the head is kind of like a, almost like a triangle. And then there's little details. Also, uh, people would come along later and draw other animals on top, so overlapping. And they think some of those drawings, like this one could be a thousand years or more. Uh, apart from this drawing. So, yeah, um, you just have to draw one. I'm going to draw a few to challenge myself, but step one is put your name on the back and your class code, three something, or just third grade. Crumple up your brown paper. And then when you uncrumple it, it'll kind of have a texture like a rock wall, which is where these cave artists made their art. So then you can flip your paper over and then it's almost like you're drawing on a cave wall. And uh, it doesn't matter what color you use to draw. I'm going to be looking at the shapes here. And you can also, you know, uh, make up your own kind of animal. You could look at this. I'm going to look at this to help me, but I'm going also going to be drawing a horse, which is different. So the curved back, right, it's got a curved belly underneath too, and then a round rump and the legs kind of go back like this and then they get real small and then they come forward and then they've got a hoof almost like a circle or an oval and then this part's really skinny kind of like that and then you know the front one it's kind of starts out small and then it gets really small and then you've got a hoof again so however you want to draw it you'll just be looking at the shapes um, the cave artists were very good. They practiced a lot. You could tell. They're almost like they're sketching. And, of course, they didn't have photographs to look at. They just had uh, their memory, I guess. Um, they hunted animals to eat. Um, but they also think there might have been some, almost like a religious uh, kind of thing to these drawings. Like they'd make these drawings and then they'd worship the animals. There's all sorts of ideas. Nobody really knows. We can't go back and ask them, but what we do know is art has been around for as long as people have been around. And artists have always been really good. There's always been good artists out there. So we think of ca cavemen and women as kind of dumb, but we know from their art that they are pretty sophisticated. So now I'm drawing the tail and you could give it a thick outline. Um, you could color things in. You could color the top in different than the bottom. And if you're using brown paper, what's kind of nice too is that you could go in with some white. And usually white, you know, you say I have like a white crayon or a white colored pencil. When do you ever get to use it? Well, now's the time you can use it because it'll actually show up today. When you use white paper, it doesn't really show up, but this is why you have it. So I'm just going in and making the bottom a little bit different. 
and the top. And then you can kind of blend them in between so it fades. And that'll help it look round. Kind of like that. I'm, I'm coloring in the ears white, so to balance it, I come over here and put some white in the tail. That's an art trick. The cave artist knew that trick. Artists still use it, so. Um, red. You know, you could go in and add like other little animals, like maybe there's a deer here. And definitely look at pictures to help you. This is a deer or an ibex or something. And if I used red, you know, I could go back in and add red somewhere else, just to balance out my picture. You can outline with multiple colors. You just want to stick to neutral colors. Neutral colors are anything that's not in the rainbow, like gray, white, black, brown. Those are neutral colors. Red would be the exception. You can use red. So, yep, put your name on it first. Crumple the paper. Um, practice drawing animals. Draw as many as you want to. You could even tell a story, like maybe there's people hunting. You could overlap them. Don't be afraid to overlap. It, it feels really weird and wrong to do this. But this is one of the cool things about the cave art. Is that uh, artists came along and they just practiced. And If there wasn't enough room, they just drew over somebody else's drawing. But it's your drawing and we're just trying to make it look ancient. Um, the two big important caves in France were the Lascaux Cave. Um, and the Chauvet Cave. The, the paintings in the Lascaux Cave were 17,000 years old and that was discovered in the 90s. A little bit later they discovered the Chauvet Cave and it's almost twice as old. It was 30,000 years old, some of those drawings, and they're even better than the Lascaux Cave. So. And we also know a lot about the animals that used to live in Europe because of the cave drawings. So, um, get some neutral colored crayons, find some brown paper or whatever paper you have to work with, Crumple it up, don't be afraid, and uh, practice drawing some animals. Work hard and have fun.